So in this video, what I want to go through is how we can find an estimate for the mean from grouped frequency. The idea is that the original data has been lost. It has been, all of it has been put through into a grouped frequency table. And in so doing, we've lost all the original bits of data. So for example, we know that there is one bit of data between 50 and 90. However, we don't know how close that is, or was rather, to 50, or how close it was to 90. We don't know that, and obviously that would affect the mean value. So all we can do is we can make an estimate for where that data point is by estimating it as being in the middle of the group. Okay, That's the best that we can do. So in this video, we're going to go through three examples of estimating the mean from a group frequency table. The first two look very similar, but there is a subtle difference, which I will explain. But let's have a look at this first one. So here the x's are representing lengths, and these would be rounded to the nearest whole number. So I know that uh, anything that is between 11.5 to 13.5 would go into this grouping. Now, if it was exactly 11.5, it would be rounded up to 12, goes in this group. If it's exactly 13.5, it would go into this group. If it's just less, it would go into that group. So really, this grouping is going from 11.5 up to 13.5. Okay, so you could otherwise write it as 11.5 is less than or equal to x is less than 13.5. Okay, that's really what it's saying. So, when I find the midpoint of this group, this will have precisely the same midpoint as going from 12 to 13. Okay. There, those 0.5s won't make any difference whatsoever because they're just being added 0.5 to either side of the grouping. So here, we, what we can do is to find each of the midpoints to make that easier for ourselves, you can just add the two numbers together, 12 and 13, and then divide that by 2. So 12 and 13 is 25, divide, by that, divide that by 2, you get 12.5. So you want to go into your calculator, uh, go to menu, and then number six for statistics, and then one variable. Uh, and then you should get x column and a frequency column. Now remember, if you don't have a frequency column, if you're not seeing that, go shift, menu, so setup, scroll down until you see number three statistics, and then frequency on. Okay? And then your frequency column should appear. So we're going to put in the x values as the midpoints. So 12.5 for the first one. Then we've got 14 to 15, so 14.5. Then we've got 16 to 19. 16 plus 19 is 35. Half of that is 17.5. Then um, we've got 20 to 25, and so that would be 22.5. So then pop in the frequencies, 8, 20, 42, and 30. And then press the AC button, then option, then number 2. And you should find X bars right at the top as 18. And so 18 is the mean for this set of data. And it makes sense seeing as that is where the largest set of data was, 42. Okay, so always check back to see if it makes sense. Now, the second one looks very similar in style, but is subtly different because now we're talking about ages. So the context matters here. With age, you're not uh, said to be 16 until you are 16, until you've reached your 16th birthday. We don't round up. So if you are 15.9 years old, you're not then 16 years old, okay? So with age, you always round down. So this grouping from saying from 10 to 15 isn't going from 9.5, it's going from 10, and isn't going up to 15, it's going up to 16, okay? Or 15.5, it's going up to 16. So this grouping is actually 
really saying 10 is less than or equal to x is less than 16. Okay, that's what that grouping is really saying. So when you're finding the midpoint, you're going from 10 to 16, not 10 to 15. Okay, like we would have done here. So, we've got to take account of that. So back in the menu, number six, number one for one variable. So the x values on the mean, uh, the midpoints again, 10 to 16 would be 13. Then we've got 16 to 21. Okay, so 16 plus 21 is 37. Half of that, so 37 uh, divided by 2, we get us, well, 15, 16, 17, 34. 17 is uh, 30, sorry, 17 is 34. 18 is 36, so 18.5. Okay, never be worried about doing a little calculation on the side if you can't quite do it in your head. Then 21 to 31. Well, 21 and 31 is 52. Half of that is 26. And then 31 and 36 is uh, 67. So that's 33 and a half. And then add in the frequencies. 20, 55, 75 and 50. Press the AC button. Option, number two for one variable and we get an x bar mean of 24.5125. Okay, so does that make sense? Well, yes, because that's where the largest grouped uh, set of data was. Okay, the highest frequency. Right, let's have a look at the last one then. This one, when it's represented like this, is much clearer for us to work with. Uh, so this grouping uh, is taking anything that is greater than or equal to five, but less than eight. And if it was exactly eight, it would be going into this grouping and not that one, because that's where the equality is. So menu, number six, uh, one variable, midpoints of these groups, five plus eight is 13, half of that is 6.5. Eight and 22 is 30, half of that is 15. 22 plus 50 is 72, half of that is 36. 50 and 90 is 140, half of that is 70. Then pop in the frequencies, 3, 17, 19, and 1, AC, option number 2, and we get a mean value of 25.7125. Okay, does that make sense? Well, yes, that's where my largest set of data is, and the majority is uh, skewed that way, so it makes sense that it would be quite low in that grouping. Okay, so that is how we can find and estimate the mean from grouped frequency tables.